Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tebex. In this video, I want to go over Archon. What is Archon? What can you do with it? And is it something that you should care about? Archon stands for Remote Console. If you don't know what the console is, it's basically the black screen that you're looking at right now. Anything that will happen on your server will be displayed in the console. And the console is also one of the places you can go to directly run comments. Archon, Remote Console, is a way to communicate with your server when you don't have direct access to the console. Even though your hosting company might provide some sort of console, the options and the readability are a lot of times very limited. But there are a lot of great options for a Archon client. If you want to run it on a mobile phone, you also have dedicated apps. This one is for Android. I'm pretty sure there will be one for iPhone as well. Most of the web options for Archon also work pretty well on a mobile phone. So first, let's look at how to connect to a Archon client. We need to get all the Archon information. So the IP, the port and the password. I'm using GTX Gaming. I can click on server details, select Archon and then click on execute and it will show me exactly what I need. So the IP address, the port and the password. Let's log into Archon.io. It has the most simple login interface. So just copy over the information and two things before I connect. One, if you're hosting locally, these settings will be in your start file or your bat file. And two, yes, all these Archon settings are reset before this video is live. So you can try, but good luck logging in. When you got all the connect information filled in, click on connect and you should be able to connect to your server. If you're hosting locally, make sure that all the ports are port forwarded correctly. Otherwise, Archon cannot connect. I'm going to make a full tutorial on Rust Admin, the program right here. But in this video, I quickly want to show you what kind of things you can do with Archon and also show you the difference between the clients so you know which one works the best for you. So most importantly, you can see the console. So you can see everything that happens. Using Rust Admin, you also have a dedicated chat option, which is empty right now. But if I say something in chat, you can see that it pops up right here. I can also see all the players that are connected to my server and I also get some information about them. I can also right click on myself and there are certain things I can do. I can go directly to my Steam profile. I can copy my Steam ID. I can also teleport someone. It says here teleport to and everybody that's connected to the server will show up in this list. So if a friend of mine is online, I can just say teleport to click on his name. Whoever I have selected over here will then be teleported to that player. When I have myself selected, I can also go to actions and I can give myself something. So I can also make full lists. If you've seen some of my videos on my own channel, you know that I like to mess with trap bases and electricity. So I created a list over here and I can just select the list and say, give to Ted Pommes. And now as you can see on the right, I got all those items. So going to my inventory, my inventory is now completely full with very big stacks. So even on a vanilla server, I don't have to constantly spawn in more wood and more resources just for me to build stuff. There's a lot more that you can do with the Rust admin client. If you want to know more, the link to that video will be in the description. Let's quickly go over the different clients that you can use and which I think are the best. When running a actual program, by far Rust admin is the best. Go to rustadmin.com, click download on the right. When it comes to Web Archon, there are a few more options. The best free website to use is archon.io. Like you saw in the beginning, it's easy to log in as well. It's super simple. You got the console. It's a little bit more colored, so easier to read. You can also run comments at the bottom. You got a nice overview of the performance of your server. So if you have a second screen or if you open this up on your mobile phone, you can have this on the side and easily glance over and see how the performance is, how many players are online and see if there are any issues. You got a player's overview. You get a little bit of information about the player and the connection. And you can also ban them or kick them. And then there are some tools. So you could, for example, teleport a player to another player or give a item to a player, which you have to select from a list, which is not the fastest way. And there's also no way of creating those kits or like pre-built lists of items to give, like I showed in Rust Admin. So it's pretty limited. It's free. One thing I want to point out, it's not a secure connection. That means that all the information between you and this website is sent unencrypted and that's not the safest option. But if you quickly have to do something and Archon.io is the only thing you got, I think it's still not a bad option. We got the Rust Admin Online, which is a paid client. You can see the price over here. They recently added a feature which you can see all the live player locations on the map. And as it says here, it does require the Rust Admin Server plugin. If this is something that you guys want to see me make a video on, then leave a comment down below. 
this is what it looks like so you got the console on the right you got the players on the left and then you can say something in the chat or run a comment down below one of the main benefits of using rust admin online is that it's always connected to your server so you always see everything and everything is getting logged we can see what plugins are installed how long they took to load we can reload them unload them get some statistics see the files etc it's really in depth i think rust admin is the best online archon client the two best options you have are rust admin and battle metrics both are paid they have the same price they are both 10 euros a month if you're unfamiliar with battle metrics they do way more than just rust and i think battle metrics is a better option than rust admin if you have a lot of servers or multiple servers across different games if you're unsure which one fits for you I think they're both a really good option and I think it's just either preference or go over the features and see if one of them offers something that the other doesn't that should make the decision a little bit easier. This is my server as you can see I can resize it so if you have multiple servers you could have them all over the screen right here. Some might say Battlemetrics is the best Archon web client. I personally like Rust admin more but I got nothing bad to say about Battlemetrics. If you're really information driven and have multiple games and across multiple servers take a look at battle metrics it might be exactly what you need hopefully that gives a little bit of an explanation what archon is and what you can do with it i hope this was helpful you can join our discord to hang out with other content creators and learn how to grow your online community all the social links will be in the video description thank you for watching and good luck with your tabex store